Chad um, with Graphic Design Art 3500. I'm going to go over this assignment one, which is the simple brochure cover design. Um, what we have as a given is a series, you can see here on the right, I'm scrolling through them, of um, travel brochures. They're actually city maps and guides, and um, each each map and guide is specifically specifically designed for a particular city. Um, the size on these is four and a quarter by eight and a half. And what I would like you to do is to design three more brochures in the same style of cities not represented here. And um, and please design ones that are more um, uh, that that people would travel to. Okay, so don't. Please don't do like Oakdale and Manteca in series, that type of thing. Do something big and large and, and interesting, Chicago or San Francisco, whatever it is. Okay, so um, I'm going to take you through the process of it. I'm going to design one brochure, um, but let me just point out what's going on here. Um, each brochure has a flat color behind it. Um, the city is in white. Um, it is flush left, so it's a certain distance from the left, and then it changes depending on how long the name of the city is. Um, Pan Am is up in the top right corner. It's a high. It's a sorry. It's a, uh, a Pan Am logo, which is an old airline um, company. And then City Map and Guide is going to be flush left, the same distance that Paris is from the edge, or that the city is from the edge, the left edge. So is Pan Am and City Map and Guide um, that same distance from the right edge. And then there's a simple illustration using black and white, or just black. So those are the kind of the stipulations that um, we should probably roll with. Um, so I'm going to say, uh, so the first, first uh, as far as a process goes, I'd like you to list a bunch of cities that come to mind that you would like to design that kind of interests you. Um, next list, I want. I would like you to list a lot of icons next to those cities. And those icons, so you can see Paris is a glass of bottle of wine and a glass, and Rome is the Colosseum. So think of things like that. So it could be a landmark in that city, it could be an activity that that city is famous for, um, could be a local product, or even like, like this, um, like the lantern, or a pattern like Lisbon. So, but it would have to be very no recognizable for that for that city, okay? And then next, draw the icons um, that you've listed, at least the ones that are viable, right? Um, that make sense, that look like they, in your mind, they'd go, oh yeah, these would be really good ideas. London could have been a hundred of them, right? Well, maybe not a hundred, could have been quite a few. Big Ben double-decker buses, um, those red telephone booths. Um, granted, we don't have red. Um, Big Ben could have been a lot of different European city clocks. So I can see why they chose this bowler hat and monocle. Um, but regardless, um, now that you have those little sketches, then I'd like you to pick your best ones. What are your best solutions? And if you need to, need to come up with some more, do it. But then take those little drawings and put them in um, the layout of four and a half by eight and a half. And I have on page two some um, some little little thumbnail sizes. This, these, these are the sizes of the brochures, or at least the proportions. Sorry, not size. It's the proportion of a brochure. So you can do your sketch inside here. Um, and then for type, you could make like a little squiggle across, and that would represent where the type would go, okay, and the length of it and the size of it. So um, now if you're not using a computer or don't have one that um, will run Illustrator at this time, I've made this so it can be done by hand, and that's fine too. So, and then what I'd like you to do is submit, create your process book for this, and as your last page in your process book, you should have your solutions and then turn those in with the assignment. So I'm going to switch over to Illustrator to show how I've done this with one city. So I've taken, I may have to zoom out a little bit. Okay, so my city that I decided to do was Moscow. So Moscow is really off the table at this point. 
Um, so this is a basilica with these kind of ice cream cone tops or a Russian nesting doll or one of those um, fuzzy hats. And the, you know, the one that I thought would be best is probably this basilica in red square. And so um, I found a color that is not included in here and that was a kind of a, a teal. And um, uh, the Moscow, um, if you have Helvetica Bold, it's a Helvetica Bold. If you don't, it's Aerial Bold will work fine. It'll work for this one, and it works for the city, I'm sorry, the um, city map and guide, both Helvetica Bold. What I did, oh, and then I Googled Pan Am High Res logo and found this logo and dropped it in. So let me just quickly um, demonstrate. I'm just dragging, holding down Option or Alt to duplicate um, this item okay, or these items. So you've noticed I still have my down there. So I'm going to take, um, I'm going to remove the background color of this to make it so it's not teal any longer. And, oops, I'm sorry, I meant to do none, and then make my stroke black. So now, if I group all those together or select all of them, now I can, I, what I want to do is size it down. What I'm doing is showing you how to get the um, correct size of type, okay? Um, so here, here's how you do it, actually. I'm not going to move that over. You get your type tool, and um, you put it here, and then type in uh, London, and then we'll set it to um, Helvetica Bold, which it is already, because I think because of this was the last project I did. We'll left justify it, and then we'll enlarge it. And we want to take it to, so it's the same size as this, as London. Now I'm a little bit off, so I'm going to nudge it over to the right and down a bit. And then um, maybe I can go up a bit. Let me try to move maybe to 15. Yeah, that looks about right. And then I'll track it in some. And then I'm going to actually read change the horizontal scale just a bit and boy uh, that so now you know proportionately what size that London is I'm gonna duplicate that holding down shift uh, I'm sorry holding down option or alt and move it down to guide I'm gonna right justify it um, I'm gonna move down the size quite a bit and then I'll key in um, city map and guide so you can see it's still a little bit large. Um, I'm going to try to bring that down. Probably too much. I might go 7.5. Um, maybe 2.5. Yeah, that looks right. OK, so now I have my um, type. What? It's still a little small, isn't it? How about 7.35? And then my Pan Am logo, which I found online. I'm just going to move it over here. And we may um, want to remove this little globe. It looks like it didn't, shouldn't be a part of the logo. I'm going to delete that. Oops, didn't want to delete London, but just that. Okay. So now I know the size of my type in relation to the brochure size. So I'm going to draw a box that is um, the brochure size and I may have to you know just adjust it if I'm a little off which I was. And um, I'm going to send this behind it. Oops. I'm going to probably change this to uh, just to some color. And then I'm going to send it behind, which is Commander Control left bracket. Okay. So now um, I'm going to select my London brochure, Oops. and then I'll just move it away from it somewhere. So now I now I have my my type the right size. I'll just change that to 
uh, to white. And now I have to just put my image in and it's all sized correctly. So hopefully that was helpful. Um, um, what I what I actually did on get rid of that globe because that really should not be there, but deselect Moscow. Okay. Um, what I did on this, I, it's much too detailed, so it doesn't fit the series very well. And if I had more time, I would really simplify it rather than using kind of a thresholded version of a, an image. Um, I decided to put a little moon in there just because it felt kind of nighttimey and um, but anyway, so that that's really that's the assignment. That's one of them, um, and you'll do you'll do three. Um, and how do you turn it in? Um, so you will submit this uh, into Portfolium, and then and you'll create a new project in Portfolium.com, and then you'll save you'll take the URL from that project and paste it as a link into uh, into Canvas, into your assignment. Okay, so that's that's it, and um, there's the schedule. Um, please check out your, if this may be an older semester, so check out uh, what the current schedule is on your project sheet. And um, that's it. Um, please contact me with additional questions. Thanks.